Welcome to this video presentation of our research project titled Acoustic Situation Awareness of Pedestrians Using PLD. PLD stands for Personal Listening Devices. This research is being conducted by uh, Dr. Rafael Patrick and Dr. Jun from the My Music Machine Lab, both of them from within the ISC department. Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University is home to more than 36,000 undergraduate students, graduate students, and professionals as of fall 2019. 81% of students are undergraduates and 19% are graduate students with a male to female ratio well balanced at 57 to 43. Our research is focused on distracted pedestrian behaviors, especially by the student population on college campuses who are predisposed to use personal listening devices while they walk and cross streets on campus. Such a large population of students on a 2,600 acre campus makes this a very promising research project. We selected multiple locations to observe during peak hours of student and vehicular traffic, observing locations such as the North Main Street Crossing, Newman Library and Eagleson Hall Crossing, Newman Library and Torgerson Hall Crossing, as well as Alumni Mall Street. Based on our findings, we plan to conduct experiments within a virtual reality environment to further study the effects of personal listening devices and the wearer's auditory situation awareness when it comes to performing focused tasks such as crossing a street on campus. Hi, my name is Opera Neal and I'm the lead graduate student leading this project on risky pedestrian behaviors across uh, Virginia Tech's campus and it is exhibited by most college students wearing personal listening devices such as earphones. On average, a pedestrian is killed every 88 minutes in a traffic crash, accounting for 16% of all traffic fatalities from 2017. As cell phones and digital media become more prevalent in society, people, especially the youth, have begun engaging in entertainment-based activities such as texting or listening to music while performing other cognitively demanding tasks such as driving or crossing a busy intersection. The utilization of personal listening devices while crossing a busy street creates a dangerous predicament for the user and other parties in the vicinity due to cognitive and acoustic awareness distraction. To effectively engage in such activities, critical periods of time elapse that may temporarily distract users from their environment, which in turn causes them to sacrifice precious seconds of mental concentration often required to safely complete the task at hand. Unlike the primary sense of sight, auditory sense is omnidirectional, affording one the ability to be acoustically aware of the immediate environment, regardless of which way the head is facing. Hi, my name is Sanjit Tamboli, and I'm an undergrad student on this research project. Some observations we made were that many people obviously use a crosswalk when they're supposed to, and there are always people who ignored it and crossed the street before they got to crosswalk. They always seem to be in a hurry, as there's only a few seconds extra to cross normally. This would be dangerous in a more populated area, but since the drivers are careful here, pedestrians, pedestrians always seem to make it safe for you when they cross. Hi, I'm Pooja, and I created the survey for this research as well as help conduct field observations. For the survey, we distributed QR codes to participants observed with a numeric code identifier so that we could look back at our video recordings and match each pedestrian observed with their survey response. We received a total of 140 responses. An interesting response found was that about half of the pedestrians who took the survey were listening to music while crossing the crosswalk, and the other half were not. We now plan to conduct a focus group with similar but more detailed questions related to our study. I'm Jake Pearson, and I focus on the VR and sound elements of our research. Here's a short clip of the prototype, which includes a street crossing and small details of the surrounding environment. It was created using Unreal Engine 4, which provides a complete ecosystem for developing and deploying virtual reality applications. The engine allows users to build virtual environments by importing 3D models and interactive game objects. Now here's the lab where we will use the VR environment to conduct our experiment. We can see Abernil testing out the prototype with plenty of room for one-to-one -one movement with the real world. VR technology is a great tool for us to create a potentially unsafe experiment in a practical and realistic way. Our research expects to find evidence for degradation of acoustic situation awareness, identify ways to improve acoustic situation awareness with the use of personal listening devices, and also lay the foundation for future research on vehicle to pedestrian communication. Thank you for watching.